Welcome again, beloved, on this platform again, glorious morning shower. One for your shower today is this. Beware of human philosophy. So many human philosophy find their way into the church. And some people who are gifted in the place of they imagine things and just think theories. And those theories are being accepted in so many quarters. Many confusion, mainly in the Christian faith. You hear somebody from somewhere, you don't even know when he got born again, you don't even know anything about him. He just woke up one day, he says, a prophet, and he will now tell people to be doing things that are not scriptural. I'm also hearing some people, so to say, prophets, trying to claim that prophetic has a better place than the place of the world. Jesus asked the twelve. Will you also leave? And Simon Peter answered, To whom shall we go? Only you have the word of eternal life. Not only you is the prophet. Not only you is the... Is the no. Only you have the word. So if you mess around the world and downgrade the world and take the prophetic because you think we are in the era of the prophetic, you are lying. So be careful of all this human philosophy that does not have a place in the Bible. I'll say, I should give you this word as your shower today. In the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. I don't know the translation you are having there. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies high sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking and from the spiritual power of this world you hear that let's go over it again Colossians 2 verse 8 don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophy and high-sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking. They just sat down and thought of nonsense and begin to say it's scriptural. Say this. If the pastor stands on the pulpit from A to Z, he, he has not opened any scripture. He just from for one hour he's telling you human philosophy without a scripture. Run away from such pastors. Just climb the pulpit, and the only next thing is prophecy, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Nonsense. That's what Bible is. That is it's the Bible that said it, not me. He said, and high sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world. So, what is God telling you that there is a spiritual force at the world system? in place and they have sneaked into churches you may not be a christian like me but hear me hear me well don't let any human being teach you human philosophy and high sounding nonsense nonsense christians you 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 empty everything you have and say you are going to sow a seed to a pastor. God didn't tell you to do it. Somebody just hypnotize you. You everything you have, you don't have food to eat you. You take everything and go to one pastor and say I'm sowing a seed. Who is teaching you that nonsense? Why? Because it's because of what you taught us that day. Because of what he taught you that day, or because of what God told you to do. I'm not saying it's bad, but 
It must be from God, not out of compulsion. I remember a man of God one time who deceived a very known lecturer I knew in those days. And the lecturer is late today. He was sick and he went for prayer. And the man of God told him, he said, that your jeep. God said, you should give it to me. When you give this jeep to me and I will pray, God will heal you. The man dropped the jeep. As I'm talking to you, the son of that, that lecturer couldn't complete his school. Left university. Couldn't complete as up to today. And the pastor over there in Abuja here, driving the jeep. And the man is dead. No sense. Even if they do you, let this word come in today undo you in the name of Jesus. Let the word on glorious morning shower today undo that do you, they do you in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that God is calling high sounding nonsense. He said they are powered by the spiritual this world, not spiritual powers of heaven. Even there is a God that controls this world. It's your wonderful, lovely, beautiful life. You go and hand it over to a prophet to control it. Tell you when to eat, when not to eat. Tell you when to wake, when not to wake. Tell you who to marry, who not to marry. How do I, how, why should I tell you who to marry? Am I going to live in the marriage with you? Why should I tell you the car to buy? Am I going to drive the car with you? Like the word of God is coming your way today. I'm sure some people via this world alone today, they are coming out of some darkness now. If you want to then share with me, talk to me. I'll give you more word. The platform may not be enough for me to tell you more. I'll give you more word from the Bible to back what I'm telling you. So beware today as you go out today in search of your daily bread. Don't let anybody in the name of anything anointed or not anointed, intelligent or not intelligent, give you any human philosophy.